Hey everybody, welcome to how to set up an electronics lab and today what I want to focus on is the soldering station. Now the main reason why we solder is to make a strong mechanical connection and as a result not only is it strong mechanically so the joints will be strong and hold for a long period of time but it also provides us a strong electrical connection. Now there's two main types of soldering irons. There's the simple iron and there's the soldering station. Now the simple iron is a very accessible tool in the sense that it's relatively cheap and that you can buy it almost anywhere but unfortunately it lacks some features that actually would make it a desirable tool. Now the soldering station is a lot more desirable of a tool as it has the ability to regulate the output temperature of the actual iron itself. So this means that we can actually set the iron to an appropriate temperature of what we're actually doing. Now the main reason why we care about the output temperature of an actual iron is the reason that some components are bigger in their actual leads and require more heat to actually do an appropriate job, whereas components with smaller leads require less heat to do the exact same amount of work. Some components such as ICs are not able to actually tolerate high amounts of heat, so that's another reason why we care about the actual output temperature of a soldering iron. All solder oxidizes, but when we hit higher temperatures, it's more likely that this chemical reaction will affect our circuit more. So this is another reason why we care about the actual output temperature, because if too much heat is applied, we can actually damage the solder and actually make a bad electrical connection. Not only is the soldering station actually useful for designing circuits, but it's also used to repair circuits. So in the sense that if a capacitor or any other component is broken, you can remove it from a circuit and replace it with a functioning component. Soldering stations also give you the ability to hack existing circuits to modify them in ways in which you see desirable to your own self. Soldering stations give you the ability to harvest parts from existing circuits. Not only does this give you a better understanding of how circuits actually work, but also gives you a chance to salvage their parts and actually use them for future experiments. The act of soldering can actually be harmful to you in the fact that the actual fumes are toxic. So it's always appropriate to work in a well-ventilated area where the fumes are extracted from your actual workpiece. Thanks for watching How to Set Up an Electronics Lab Soldering Station. If you have any questions or concerns, please post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, have yourselves a great day.